this video we're going to go through adding baselines to a corridor. In a corridor model, you can have multiple baselines. Each individual baseline allows you to push a separate template. All in all, this allows you to take a single model and cut it up into pieces so you can have more control over it. Quick tour of this drawing is that we have a topographic survey, an alignment with an associated corridor, an assembly, and we have a left offset alignment and a right offset alignment for the edge travelway, as well as two connected alignments for the curb returns. If we come over here and look at the assembly, it's just a basic lane assembly, nothing special about it, and we're getting ready to add baselines. We want to add baselines for the left and right edges of travelway so that we can push curb and gutter and the ties along those baselines and give us a bit more control. So what we're going to do is take this overall model. We're going to copy it. I'm just going to copy it straight now. And we're going to cut this up into individual pieces. I'm going to select the assembly line and give it an appropriate name. And let's call this lanes only. And I am going to take it and I am going to remove the curve and gutter and the tie line. Let's do this again two more times. Let's copy this one to right here and this one to right here. We're going to take this one and we're going to call it left curve and daylight and we're going to delete everything to the right whoops and now all we have is our curve and our daylight we'll do this same thing over here but on the opposite side right curve and daylight And now we've got these cut up and we've got them appropriate named. I'm going to save this drawing. And for the sake of our sanity, let's come over here. Let's check our mod primary model. And um, let's right, just right click on it and go to properties here. I'm going to go ahead and change this assembly for the main corridor down the middle to the lanes only. And rebuild. So now all I have is the lanes. Now that we've got all that background data, ready, we can start adding baselines. We're going to add a baseline for this left travel way and this right travel way. I will select the corridor and I will come right here and click add a baseline. I'm going to click the left, so let's do the left first. Let's name it appropriately, left edge travel way. And I'm going to use the pick box and choose this alignment. You can choose it from the name if you so wish. I'm going to hit OK. It wants to know which profile that you want. In our case, we only have one. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see it added it. I'm going to repeat it for the other one. And now we've got them in there. Now that we have baselines, we must have regions. So I'll select the corridor again. I'm going to add a region. It wants to know which baseline now. So I'm going to choose the left one. And you see that I can do a beginning and an end of the region. I'm just going to click F and fill the whole thing and choose our left curb. And hit OK. I'm not going to worry about targets at the moment. And now let's repeat it for the other one. So let's add a region, the right fill. Right daylight, okay, and okay. And if I rebuild the model, you can see it pushed that. Now let's come in here real quick, go to our properties dialog box so you can see it. So here's each one of our new baselines and their associated regions. In here you can edit your frequency and your targeting. So I'm going to go here, go to target, choose our surface targets, and Set that one. 
And we'll do the same thing here for this one. Surface targets. Set that one. Hit OK. OK. Rebuild. And we're right back to where we were before. But if I select it now, you can see these grips at each baseline and region. I can take this grip and I can pull this back to anywhere I want. Now this connected alignment ends somewhere right in here. So let's take this and pull it back to right here. Do the same thing for the other side. Should be somewhere back here. I'll just pull it back. We can see that it ends somewhere right there, so I'll grab that grip and pull it to right here. So by adding these baselines, I'm able to control where these are. And then in the next one, we're going to take it and create more regions and more templates for these curb returns. While we're at it, let's go ahead and grab this and pull this region back to the same start point. You want the one that is the farthest back along it. And that's it for adding baselines. If you like this content, please click like and subscribe for more.